there is a cafe in downtown Laurel, Delaware. It's been causing quite the buzz over the last few years. Yeah, it's a little place called the Gospel Cafe, and WBOC's Charlie Paparella has the story. Downtown Laurel, Delaware is pretty quiet on a Saturday night, but if you walk by the Methodist Church down there, you'll hear a joyful sound coming up from the ground. We start at, at 6 o'clock. Um, we open up with the band. Bruce Willie has played music his whole life. Playing since I was 13 years old. He's played all over the country in all kinds of places, but now he has a nightclub of his own called the Gospel Cafe. Having a place to come on a Saturday night that people could come in off the street, a non-threatening environment, um, to hear good music, hear the Word of God through music. Every Saturday night for the past three years, Bruce and his band perform for an hour or so, with occasional breaks for gospel trivia. After Moses, who was the next leader of the Israelites? You got it! But the cafe is not just for Bruce and the band. They let all kinds of people play, even me. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured in that incident. The rest of the evening is a Christian open mic for performers of all ages. We've had some great talent here. So many great musicians and great singers in this area. We have kids as young as 10 years old. That it's no other feeling in the world when you know your artistry is touching someone's heart. After three successful years, Bruce and Nancy are starting to take the cafe on the road. We are planning on taking this other places to different churches. We're praying that that happens. We're, we've got it in God's hands. I expect that's where it's been all along. Well, obviously, Bruce has given to the community for years, and now the community is stepping up to give back to Bruce. A few days before Christmas, Bruce was performing for nursing home patients. When he collapsed, Bruce was transferred to PRMC where he learned he needed triple bypass surgery. Good news is Bruce made it through just fine. The flip side of that is Bruce doesn't have health insurance. And Bruce joins us today along with Randy Nelson, the Cheer Center's marketing director. And we're gonna get to that in just a second. Okay, okay. Hi. first, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm gonna ask you a difficult question. Yes, sir. Can you, in a real quick synopsis, tell us more about your story? Okay. Uh, I was playing uh, for the Wacomico County Nursing Home, and uh, I was excited about it because it was time for me to go shopping after the job. So I had my granddaughter and my wife with me, and uh, uh, long about 3 o'clock, about 15 minutes before I uh, ended the job, I started sweating uh, I, like a puddle down around my feet. And... Um, about 3.15, when I ended the show, uh, the room was spinning, yeah. all new to me, and uh, I looked at my wife and I said, Nancy, I said, uh, I need some water, hon. Get me some water. I need. I feel I'm going to faint. Well, as I was walking back to sit down, I went out, mm. and the next thing was the paramedics. They had come in and uh, uh, had got me back. and. Uh, I asked the lady, I said, uh, am I okay? And she said, uh, well, uh, we're going to take you and check you out. And I said, well, I I'm okay. I don't want to go Christmas shopping. Mm. You, you know? about had her talked out of I, I the did, hospital, I did, I did. And well, you wanted to go Christmas shopping. Well, I, I, I tell you, I, I, if I'd have known and seen what you are like, I could have talked her into doing it. <laughs> but uh, I, um, uh, she said, it was the way you went out with your eyes rolled back. And uh, uh, she said, if you can sit up in the chair, she said, I'll consider letting you go shopping. So when I started to sit up in the chair, uh, I went out again, yeah. and then I woke up. I was in the uh, ambulance and on the way to uh, wow. PRMC. And you ultimately ended up having to get triple, triple bypass, bypass surgery. Yes. So tell me, what has your recovery been like? What are the challenges? Uh, the challenges were, of course, uh, the things I have to eat. 
I'm uh, like Jimmy was talking about the chicken McNuggets, the fast foods, and so mm -hmm. forth. Uh, uh, I really love to eat, and uh, now I'm on a, you know, the seafood, you got to eat the seafood, <laughs> the salads. Right. In fact, that was tempting, wasn't Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, was, uh, I, I was really um, happy to um, uh, just get back to a natural weight, and now I'm keeping this weight. Right. and uh, taking better care but the doctor did say it had started you know when I was earlier Long for the, yeah so mm -hmm. uh, whatever you do don't uh, eat junk food <laughs> now I'll tell you what let, let's bring Randy into the story um, about how the community because the problem here has been not only that you had this happen but no insurance right so yeah Randy tell us how the community's coming into well this. Bruce has been a big part of cheer and for people who don't know cheer is really a, an active facility for seniors and and boomers and we have a lot of facilities around Sussex County activity centers and Bruce has been a big part of that doing fundraisers for other people um, performing for our seniors and they love him and it really has a, a tremendous rapport with people and so when we realized that you know that he had had this instance and did not have insurance we decided to put a fundraiser together for him because he's been such a big part for other people in doing those kinds of things so the fundraiser is tomorrow night it's Thursday night it's 6 to 9 p.m. it's at the Georgetown Community Center which is on Sand Hill Road um, we've had a great response to it so far we're kind of thrilled because whenever you do a fundraiser you are you want people to come out well Bruce has been such a big part of the music community in in Sussex County right. and, and in Salisbury um, that our list keeps growing for the performers that are coming in fact That's Charlie wonderful. Paparella is going to come and play oh, the banjo yeah. tomorrow night so and obviously the two of them know each other right and, and so and a lot of artists that you've got coming in it's going to yeah. be a wonderful time and i'm sorry we're, we're running out no of that's time. fine but we want to make sure we got that information that's right uh, ten dollars a ticket's very inexpensive there's a live auction available. with dave wilson who's a representative up in sussex county we right. do the auction we got a lot of great events plane rides fishing trips, all kinds of good stuff. So if you get a chance to come out, we'd love to see you. And if you'd like some more information on the event, go to delmarvalight.com and click on the show tab. All that information is right there. Thank you so much. We're honored to have you. Thanks. Well, up next on Delmarva Life, defending yourself in a scary mm. situation, would you know what to do if you came under a physical attack? Mitchell's Martial Arts, has some pointers. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.